that's you know that's a that's like the number one thing yeah. is putting your happiness first. Number one thing. One, number one thing's got to come from that. Yeah. Then you ace. still have to be responsible. Then then ace authenticity credibility and empathy and then RFF. What's RFF? Reasonable, fair, and firm. Yeah. There you go. So you know, in a situation. Rf- if your lady is making a request about something, is it, or she has an emotion about something, is it a reasonable? Is it, is it reasonable for her to feel that way? Is it what is what she's asking reasonable? So let, let's say hypothetical. Say you're cheating on your girl. Right. Oh, right. Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically. Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically. Hypothetically cheating. Hypothetical. And and she's upset because you, she finds out you're cheating. Is it? Because she thinks she she doesn't have hard evidence. Right. She, she assumes and she's correctly assuming. But right. And correct. she's going. Is it reasonable for her to be upset? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, especially if if you had promised her that you wouldn't be cheating. <laughs> and it's like the fourth, fifth time. It's yeah. very no, it makes sense. Makes well, sense. Yeah. It would be fair. Now, here's the thing. Now, in that situation, this is a story you told us before. You she had requested, you told her you were polyamorous. Told her polyamorous and she said she didn't want to do it. So, I was slightly coaching her. And I I to be honest, I don't think that it, you should have ever believed that somebody who says openly, like, I'm polyamorous, to expect them to be monogamous. That's like saying I'm gay and then telling them to be straight. It's just yeah, not going right. to happen. So I don't, in my opinion, it's like, you should, why, why are you believing my lies? But right. anyway, I said that But I was, people believe lies that they want to believe. Yes, because they yeah. hope you'll change. Or you, yeah. yeah, they hope. Well, he did, did say it. Yeah. Well, sometimes women get in a situation, and this is men's fault, actually, because a woman will be like, yeah, I want to do it this way. And a guy... Who generally doesn't want to lose out on her or or getting laid will go. All right, we'll do it your way. Yeah, 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 and for sure. Then they can't because mm-hmm. they have no skill or ability or intention well, they of doing it. Might have not intended right. <laughs> to do it in yeah. the first place. Right. Yeah, <laughs> they never. Well, Sneeko did hypothetically, say hypothetically. Hypothetically. All right. So, Sneeko, when you told her that, uh, guy, but my point is, guys will acquiesce. But here's the thing: guys will do the same thing. A guy will call me up and he go, yo, man, my girl, she told me she didn't want to be bothered with me no more, but she told me before she misses me a lot. Mm. I'm like, well, then go with the worst. Right. Go with the fact that she thinks you're a piece of shit. She, well, she called me a piece of shit, but she also says she loves me. Well, then go with the piece of shit. Yeah. Because Assume, that's still there. Yeah. And, and I don't understand why you would take that on your chin and not be offended by it. Right. You, like, Why would you allow someone to say you're a piece of shit? Yeah, if you if you're calling me a liar or you calling me a, a a a piece of shit. Why why are you fucking with me? Like why are we even having a conversation? I said that. I said that in the big ass like dramatic fight we had last night. I'm like, you think I'm a an oh, asshole? This was last of, night. This was last night. Like oh, I wow. barely slept. It was yeah, you know, whole night the whole neighborhood heard it. Yeah, like, really? screaming down the block like Hysterical crying, like okay, you screaming big... on both parts or one? Part? No, I'm relaxed. I'm okay, chilling. good, I'm like, good boy. I'm just good trying boy. to be. Thank I you. just want to make sure, man. I just want to make <laughs> thank sure. Thank you. Just level headed, like all there right. Which go. I said ultimately, like, what do you want to do? You want to break up? Yes or no? Just like the most blatant thing. She's oh, screaming, crying. I hate that. She said she was gonna leave and she didn't. Like I walked away. I was gonna walk her back to the train. I just walked back to my apartment. She came back screaming. I'm like, all right, we just had the breakup fight. We we did. The whole neighborhood can hear it. Like, do you want to break up? Yes or no? I feel like I just want to continue. No, 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 no. Yes or no? Yeah, we had that. We had that. Yes that or was the no? Perfect. We just had that. We talk just had that. I was prepared. I was <laughs> already prepared. coached. I was you ready. I had the. Right I knew. I knew the moves. Explain. He the, went right back to his talk. basic training. Explain the talk that we had. Explain. So Dante told me that you just got to be straight up. Like th- these are the terms that I need. I'm polyamorous. I just. It's what and makes me happy. Think, I don't really what, think he's polyamorous. He's 22. He just wants to. I think everybody's polyamorous. At 22? You think everybody, 22 everybody's sure. polyamorous, like, at their core? There's a degree, yeah. I think you want to. Well, first of all, men want to sleep with as many women as possible. And part of that is the genetic. It's an evolutionary thing. It's an evolutionary feeling. Feeling. Yeah, yeah, I think, But, I mean, when you I mean, but polyamorous is to say that you want these relations. You want a full relationship with multiple people. And that might not be. I mean, that. I mean, polyamorous That's is That's a specific just, definition. Yeah. yeah. So, How, but just because you want to smash other joint you know what i mean like that's the thing she's like she thinks that it's okay if it's just sex with another girl sure but it's never just sex with no. them you need to talk to them you need to your yeah, roommates not, there you should be like yo i got a girl but you want to just have sex with me and she goes yeah I'm into- no, well, that actually, never happens actually you, it does it does really <laughs> yeah, you know, on yeah, occasion yeah yeah you could yeah, you'd be surprised you're, i if haven't pulled that off if you're straight enough to if you if you have the balls to ask, you'd be surprised what you can get if you're willing to ask really and yeah. if you're willing to fail 
Yeah. Because yeah. asking and failing is, is part of that is just going like, hey, can I have that for free? No. Mm. Like, that's it's yeah. the same thing. It's okay. like, all right, no, nothing lost, nothing gained, you know, whatever. Nothing got... Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Yeah. So you ask, and they, the worst thing they can go is no. It's just how much you're willing to put yourself out there. Now, what happens is if you get enough numbers, if you gain enough experience, it becomes less scary to ask those requests. Because you have options. Because you have options. So I've been in situations where I've met girls either online or in person, and I let them know, like, listen, uh, uh, just so you know, I'm seeing a couple different women. I'm very happy with that. I like my life the way it is. They all know about it. Uh, if you're down for that, great. If you're not, no worries. And for me, it's gone like 50-50. Like mm. the girls who I was into or were into me, they some of them. Wouldn't you rather yeah. coach them into doing no. what you want? No, no you don't train want to them. Do that. No, 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 because no. She, my my girl now, like she was completely not okay with that at all when I first met her. That was like so far yeah, out of her. Yeah, but you didn't coach her. You just you, you tricked just her. Wore her down. <laughs> that's coach. That's a term. <laughs> 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 That's kind of the same no, thing. That's, that's, that's like what the, the best coaches no, do. No, that's what the Marines do, which is they break <laughs> the somebody co- down and yeah. try to build them And then they have scratch. PTSD right. for the rest yeah. of them. And they're also stronger and they're much better soldiers. But and they're they they ready snap, for war. And when they, they snap, kill their family yeah, afterwards. They, they didn't kill their family. When they snap, they snap. Well, I'll tell you what it is, for Sneeko. So for me, is I don't want to. I don't want somebody who doesn't want to be here. You know what I mean? I don't want somebody who... That takes a lot of effort. And you can. It's not impossible. But the workload, the mentality is you got to redo the entire mentality, and that doesn't happen overnight. And it's more difficult. And also, sometimes you don't want to trick somebody into something. And even if you're not, even if you're being honest, if they're reluctant and they feel like they have to, they feel like they're being tricked eventually. No, but there's no way she feels like she has to. It's of no. course she does. Really? Why? What? Because she's decided that what she has to lose, what she will lose with not being with you is not negotiable. So she's like, I want to hold on to this. And if I have to let week. him, if I have to let him do that, then I guess I have to let him do that. But, but I get to keep what I want to keep, right. but do a, is it really worth it? And so, but if she perceives you as a high somebody who's higher value, then she they'll they'll compromise it. But I will say this, Given an opportunity where you're exercising that, a, a woman will a lot of times will go, oh, I, I, like I don't have to fuck him when I don't want to fuck him. Like mm. somebody else can, you know what I mean? There are there are there are good parts to it, and there are bad parts to it. To the same token, I one of one of my boys. I mean, shout out to fucking Cinnabon, mm. one of the fans. He had a roster, and then he, and I said to him, I remember when he first got his divorce, he was like. He was like, man, you know, I want to do this and what. And then he started pulling these chicks. He had all these options. And then he was like, call me up. And I go, what will happen? Eventually, you'll be tired. I said, because yeah. if it's you're. It's so draining. Yeah, if you're, yeah. especially if you're a good dude, you, you're being a good dude for multiple people. You can't help it. It's in your... It's yeah, so in part your, of the righteousness of the fact of your truth and your credibility and your empathy makes you a better dude, which means you don't take somebody on and then don't treat them right. You know, even if they're not accustomed to being treated right, you still treat them right. Because it's your standard Because it's in of, your nature. You treat people right regardless of relationships. Sure, you treat sure. friends right. You treat coworkers right. Yeah. And yeah. That, sh- that will extend, if you're a righteous person, that will extend into relationships. Mm-hmm. Young Man School 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.